Okay. First episode of Retro New Let's Plays. We're going to do Star Ocean. The second story. The second story. Crap. There's already too many options. I oh, know. I don't know. Star I would just do, yeah. Sure. Does it work if you hit it? I wonder. It should. It's a PlayStation controller. Uh, okay. okay, so this is what I was talking about. You can select, obviously, one or the other, but... So with, that, with that's, the, that's Claude, not Cloud. No. <laughs> uh, with the chick, you get, like, you get, uh, his name is Diaz, I think, and he's, like, a badass swordsman. And you can only get him with her. So, um, with okay. his story, it's, uh, you're, like, on a planet, and, like, you get sucked in this wormhole, and you get brought to their world, Rena's world, the chick. So... <laughs> I would personally go with the chick, and you can like read. You can <coughs> change would, the leader. To I would probably go for her anyway, just because <coughs> you know. I mean, She's I'm more a, more magic user uh, centric personally. Not because she's hot or anything. Uh, <laughs> honestly, she looks like a dude, which is kind of backwards for anime. <laughs> he looks like a chick, and she looks like a dude. I don't know, man. I think she looks more like a chick. But anyways. She's 17, so she's not quite old enough to consent yet. It depends where you're at. <laughs> I guess that's true. All right, let's go with her. Creative and a dreamer, Rena is a happy-go-lucky 17-year-old girl. She excels at the physical arts and has a mysterious healing power. She lives in Arlia, in the southern regions of Planet Expel. And uh, Rena Lanford will indeed be her name. Oh, okay. active combat mode. All right, uh, standard, which is <clears throat> targeting manual, free movement. Uh, I'm not new to RPGs, but so, okay. So, hmm, targeting manual, semi-auto, or auto. Full active. I mean, these I are both leader-based, <clears throat> and this is standard. I always go full active. So, just thinking of it as like, okay, well, all right, so. In this one, it's like what fully turn based. I think I've never. This done one's it. like semi turn based, and this one's like you're targeting, like your like your main your uh, no your targeting par control. Your partners, so you give them a, like a like AI, you're like hey, I want you to heal, and I want you to do damage, and I want you to do this. You can you give it to your partners or your teammates as you fight, so they automatically do it for you. So it don't have to be turn based. <clears throat> I always yeah, I'll stick with standard. I think this is... Is it turn-based? I don't know how this game would be turn-based. Yeah, I think you can move. Gosh. You can at least do semi-active. That's like Free normal. Movement initiative. All right. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do semi-active. Seems to be the best compromise. Oh, man, it's planet. It's planet Arlia. Or, no, Expel. I was going to say, planet Arlia. Didn't that get blown up by <laughs> Vegeta? <laughs> That was the bug planet. Arlia? Yeah. That was a planet? Uh, yeah. I didn't know. Well, in yeah. Dragon Ball Z filler. Oh. <laughs> I don't believe it was in the manga. Ah, it's just, you know, pretty decent, uh... Yeah, it had pretty cool. I like Decent PlayStation school. 1 era cinematics. Yeah, I mean, I've always been a fan. I could... There used to be sh this show on G4 called Cinematech. And they would put together, they would basically... Combine like all these like cutscenes from PS1 video games and Sega Saturn and all this other stuff, and they would put it together into a movie or just a 30 minute episode, you know, your typical, and they're all, they're all just cutscenes. <laughs> and uh, Cinematech, man, I wish I could find that shit. It's so awesome. But, anyways, uh, I love those old school cinematics. Or just, I don't know, they're just so cool to me. <clears throat> oh boy, that's, uh, that's some serious chibi. <laughs> going on if uh, she's typical. Oh, okay, that's like a little girl. Yeah. All right. Wait! You gotta have blue hair. Everybody's got blue hair. Yeah, it's anime. Uh, what, mother? Rena's mother, Westa. Oh, okay. What do you mean, what? You went there yesterday and the day before. You don't need to go there again today. But I feel so calm somehow when I am there. 
Can't I go? No, you can't. So many strange things have happened since the sorcery globe landed. Oh, my. Uh, <laughs> we had a big earthquake last night, and I hear that the animals have become violent. Don't go. It's too dangerous. It's like the opposite of how Zelda starts. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Please. <laughs> this is not the time. I'll be going. Oh, wait. Didn't give me a chance to click through those. It was like a... Yeah. semi-auto cutscene. The uh, first hour is basically that. that. girl really <laughs> loves the Shingo Forest. I thought I'd mention that to myself. <laughs> In her monologue. But yeah, dude, I love these uh, pre-rendered backgrounds. So cool, man. Whew. Too dangerous, too dangerous. Oh, Abunai, Abunai. My silly mother is so annoying. I should go quickly to the Shingo Forest. These look like treasure chests back here. Wow, that's some slow walking. You gotta run, dude. 200 full. Alright, that's Gil. Go to your, uh, your menu. Resurrection bottle. Wow, this is, somebody just keeps this out in front of their house. Ooh, nice bird effects. Leather armor. Ooh. You can auto equip. Equipment grenade. wizard. Automatically, okay. <clears throat> She has to equip her knuckles. <laughs> That's right. Like, snap them onto her hands. Okay, this makes my armor class go up to eight. I'll take it. Why did they even bother giving me a robe? I guess just to see if I would find the chests right there? Probably. Right, <clears throat> this looks nice. Uh, it's kind of you can rotate them. Yeah, that's pretty slick. Um... If you go back to your config, we can turn your run on, like, this movement, as opposed to this holding... Looks like a a glove. Oh, knuckles, right. Sorry, what? Uh, options. And then I'll go with message speed fast. So go to one. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy VII coloring. Yeah. <coughs> um, oh, you could change all that. Man, I agonized over this decision. I can just change it at any time. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, only movement. Combat motion mode. Huh. Okay. Killer moves yeah, you one and two. You get, you get special attacks and shit. <laughs> Holy crap. Movement. <clears throat> and you can't say that Character change. Manual auto switch. Huh. Yeah, that'll just fly through the, the characters. One, two. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, uh, we go back. Get her on run. Uh, I can run by holding circle, but who wants to walk? Am I right? Wait, wait, go back up. Like, up. There you go. Move it over. Go down. Right, move it over. To only movement. There you go. Go down. Combat motion. What are you talking about? And then, um, so you don't have to hold that when you run. You That's not what I was holding. This is something else. Good. Okay. Then, uh, go back. Well, in, in combat, like, you want to be able to move freely anyways. So, go back and change it back to only. Uh. <clears throat> okay. And right. then go down. And then cancel, let's see, movement. Yeah, it should be fine. You're good. Let's go back. I guess you have to hold a button around, so. Yeah. I thought you, I thought you could get away with... Oh, fuck. Uh, shit. Uh, enders X. Let's do it. <laughs> Circle. There. Triangle. Squares. Yeah. Movement. There, yeah, okay. And I, then... Okay, just good. get off of this as go soon back. as possible. <laughs> uh... Okay, um, out yeah, of the damn okay. menu. Fuck it to hold circle to run. Cool. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Okay, let's, uh, let's see who this little girl is. Nice weather today! <laughs> <laughs> Old woman. Hi there, Rina. Are you going to the Shingo Forest? Don't make Westo worry too much. Um, Ooh, reflections. Yeah. It had a lot of cool details in this game. House of Mayor Regis. He totally does not mind that we just bust up into his uh, Japanese-style house. Most uh, RPGs are made that way, which is weird. You think about oh, it. Rina, the mayor has stepped out for a little. <laughs> the uh, localization team has their work cut out for them, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's check out his uh, view. 
view out here. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely a mayor's view. Mm -hmm. You can you can check out the boats uh, right down beneath him. The enormous. <laughs> CG boats. Pretty giant boats, They're, actually. Look how, much, never even, look how much bigger they are <laughs> than the palm trees. I never even noticed them before. Really. You have to cut down hundreds of palm trees to make these boats. Those paddles are bigger than her. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see the scale. Alright. Take your ass to the forest, man. Yeah, alright. What? So there's nothing else to do in town? Uh, that should go, yeah. <clears throat> After the sorcery globe landed on the continent of El, where sinister demons suddenly began prowling about, <laughs> the animals in the vicinity of Arla have become violent. It is a disquieting story. <laughs> he just hangs out in the corner. Yeah, he just, he's very brooding. He's emo, look at him. His yeah. hair is all over his eyes. He's the MMO character that plays RPs too much. Okay, so there's nothing to equip. I've already got all that. Okay, mm -hmm. let's just uh, you know, keep moving forward. There's a chest in here, I think. No. Ooh, man, look at the graphics. Mr. Hairn. Hi, Rena. You have such a cute outfit today. What can I get you? I also have candy in my van. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Okay. Well. Okay. So, so we probably don't need any of this. Nah. Not yet. A magical magnifying glass possessing the power to see all truths. Oh, dude. Early. That is the cheapest. All truths. It huh? helps you. I think it just helps you to. Um, what is like it like? Appraise. You get like random items you can appraise. I think. Oh, okay. I should probably get a few of these. Um, and then also the first chance you get. Okay, this is like a running thing in the game. It's called seltzer. Uh, if you buy it, they like they keep the the amount for it uh, or the value inc it increases throughout the game. So if you get it early on the game and wait till later on, you can sell it for like a, you know, 20, 30 million full. Huh. Seltzer. That's the kind of thing that would have pissed me off if I found it out yeah. throughout the game. And I go into him like, dude, it's like five hundred thousand now. Hi, Miss Rena. Hello, Miss Rena. Hello, are you two alone again today? Yes, again! <laughs> Rena, will you tell us a story like you always do? I'm sorry, I have to go out for a little, but I will tell you a story when I get back. Hooray! That was a semi-good child impersonation. <laughs> I'm not here for a critique on my voice acting. You take your ass to the forest already, man. All right, all right. Just, hold on, there's another building over here. That's her house. <clears throat> oh, crap, that is her house. You'll have plenty of time to explore this area, trust me. Oh, Rena. You're back already early today. I haven't yet finished making dinner. Why the fuck do we have a... <laughs> we have one of these uh, <laughs> in our house. Hmm. There must be a terrible mold problem. This is like a, a dry dock on the inside. You know, some people have yeah, interior it's swimming cool. pools. We have an interior dock. That's kind of uh, never really noticed that before. <laughs> yeah, you really have to take time to appreciate <clears throat> all the three D elements that went in here. Mm -hmm. Teacups. Uh huh. Paintings on the wall. God knows what those things over there are. No, no. It's, it's kind of odd that they sleep facing the wall. Yeah. You'd think that you'd turn these around the other way, but I guess you couldn't it see is. them as well from this camera view. Huh. Uh, that's not a chest, is it? No. Okay. All right, well, let's get GTFO and uh, check yeah. out that forest. Huh? You're almost there, man. <laughs> I'm almost there. Uh, what does that even say? To West Arlia. <clears throat> Lucia. They say it's too dangerous, so I can't leave the village. No fun. Young girl. Hi, Rena. Have you been to church? Oh, God. How heavy-handed can you get? Today's sermon is your favorite story of the warrior. Uh, so she's in love with him, and he's just doesn't care. thinking of a song. Do-do-do-do-do! Oh, wife. Okay. 
The earthquake was so scary that I couldn't sleep at all last night. Hi, Rena. Today's earthquake was pretty big. Oh, well, I guess it's a common occurrence around. What this? This has nothing to do with their emotes. No. Ooh, more chests. Rose hips acquired. <laughs> Those are pretty healthy. Rose hips. So, like, do I put that no, on my hips? No, like it's an item. Oh, okay. I have no idea what it does. I don't know who those people are, but I just totally ransacked their house while they were thinking of silly things. I talked to her. Oh, we're in church. Belding church. Yesterday's earthquake was very strong. I get scared when they happen so often. I hope God will do something. Oh man, this would never have flown on Nintendo. Rena, the priest's sermon today was too hard to understand. Wow, th these two suck-ups just have nothing better to do than stay after the sermon all day. And he's too nervous to go away. He's just like, uh, well, the show must go on. Uh, it's like a filibuster. Yeah. Hello, Rena. Today I gave a sermon on the warrior of legend. It's like a robot's telling me this. Yeah. Pretty, uh, the holy man who uses the sword of light, enchanted by the gods, to destroy the evil presence. <laughs> it is said that this warrior of legend who wears alien raiments is sure to appear when a crisis threatens the world. The yeah, disasters caused feel. by the sorcery globe are eating away at the world day by day, threatening its destruction. We need the powers of this warrior now, if ever. God is certainly trying our faith. What a bastard. Look at that ass in the forest. <laughs> you, you'll have plenty of time to explore this shit. Oh, you see, you can't see the doors on these houses, so you can't go in them. Old man. Hi, Rena. Are you going to the Shingo Forest? Oh, that's all I had to say. Didn't wait for my response or anything. Or maybe she's just too rude. She ran off. Okay. Wow, look at the frames of animation on that smoke back there. Or you can really see him. Is this a save point? Yeah. This is a save point. Alright. Let's uh see if this works. Does it just save you're like that? Your, no, you're gonna menu. Yeah, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, I like the, the sprite, the 2.5D yeah, oh feel man. of this. I love Render. So good. Ah, I feel so calm when I come here to the Shingo Forest. Maybe I'll go a little deeper into the forest today. I usually just stop here. And then I'm like, well, I feel better. Bye! It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty cool looking scene. I'd be hanging out there too. It's a cool area, like if, like 3D wise. I think oh yeah, cool. yeah. I would totally kick it there. Yeah, totally. Definitely. They had a hand model everything back back then with like light wave and shit. What? Like we don't have to hand model it now? No. Not most. It feels of it. so good here that that mother of mine is such a worrywart. <clears throat> There's nothing dangerous here. Bum bum bum. Oh my god. 